Well, this year's March Madness will soon narrow its field to a Final Four. Minnesota's own Hamlin University hosted the very first basketball game between two colleges. How did that happen and how much has basketball changed since then? That is a good question. Heather Brown first answered three years ago. So tell me the story. So the first game was played on February 9th, 1895. It was Hamlin versus the Minnesota School of Agriculture. Which is now the St. Paul campus of the University of Minnesota. And Final score, 9-3. to three. And unfortunately, Hamlin lost that uh, How did they get three? Uh, I think it was just a single point for, for each bucket. And obviously, there was no three-point line either. It was a very different game than, than what we're playing today. It was the original rules of basketball, which had been invented four years earlier. Watch this reenactment Hamlin did at the 100th year anniversary. Coach Hayes was a referee. It was actually nine versus nine. There was actually goaltenders as well at that time. So it was peach baskets. So they had a ladder that you had to climb up and get the ball out and have a jump ball after each score. Back then, players couldn't dribble and just pivot and pass. It wasn't the prettiest game of basketball I've ever seen, but <laughs> it was fun to be a part of for sure. How did Hamlin get the first game? That is a good question. Uh, Ray Kane obviously brought the game here. Ray Kane was Hamlin's athletic director at the time. He had played basketball for James Naismith, the man who invented the game back in Massachusetts. Other schools have tried to steal your thunder, though. <laughs> they have. Both Geneva College in Pennsylvania and Vanderbilt in Tennessee called themselves the first. But they weren't playing against other schools. We actually, though, like I said, are considered the birthplace of inter intercollegiate basketball. Heather Brown. It's an incredible piece of history to be a part of. WCCO 4 News. The original game at Hamlin was played in the basement of an old science hall that has since been torn down. Players use what would now be considered a soccer ball. If you have a good question for Heather, email her through WCCO.com links.